Hello, happy Friday, and welcome back to Spring Forest Every Day. Today is August 19th, 2022. So happy to be here leading the class again with you. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Let's start again. Hello, everybody. Hello, my friends. This is Richard Baboni from Los Angeles. It's Friday, the 8th, 19th of August. How fast time flies. Wow. Good morning. Buongiorno. Buonasera. Buenos dias. Guten tag. So nice to see this global community, to have you all sharing in this practice, everybody around the world in this beautiful spring forest chi field. So powerful, this chi field. When I think about it, a week ago today, I was checking myself in the hospital for what turned out to be a three-day long weekend in the hospital. And, uh, and here I am a week later, leading this class, sharing in your energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for sending me your healing energy, your love. It was really heartfelt and did me a world of good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today is Friday. We're going to continue with our practice. We're gonna do two moves again today. We're going to continue focusing on our attention and our intention. And we're going to do as the first move, 10,000 hands. Like the other day when we did the harmony of the universe, I really love the movements that combine the energy of the earth with the energy of the sky and your own energy. So you're in the middle between the earth, the sky and yourself. And when it unites it all together, I find it to be really, really powerful. Looking forward to today's class. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. If you like, you can always follow me at my Sunday class. I have a free class online via Zoom where I do the whole five elements practice every Sunday, 8 a.m. Pacific. You can find me online at chienergycoach.com. I'll also be teaching my level one chi activation class in September, the weekend of the 10th and 11th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific both days. If you're interested in going deeper in your level one chi activation practice, I'd be happy to have you join me. And I have a surprise. It looks like I'm going to be a guest on Master Glenn Toby's Heart Wisdom series soon, hopefully in October. So please join me again then if you have the opportunity. All right, let's get started today. We are going to do our warm up, starting from the beginning of the universe position with your feet shoulder width apart. Feel your feet firmly planted on the ground, all four corners of your feet on the mat, as they like to say in yoga parlance. Slow down your breath, relax your shoulders, allow yourself to come into the space of your practice, leave your worries and other thoughts aside, dedicate this time to your practice and focus on feeling it. Breathing into your heart. Let's begin with a bouncing. So everybody bounces at their own rhythm. It's important to move freely, move naturally, enjoy your bouncing, smile. Pay attention to your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you feel that earth energy pumping up through the soles of your feet into your torso, awakening and activating the chi in all your internal organs. <sighs> and after you're bouncing for a minute or two or longer, just raise your arms up over your heads. Soften the shoulders, let the wrists flap freely. Maybe open, expand a little bit. And now with your intention, your awareness is on your head and your neck and your shoulders and your upper chest or upper back. You are opening, opening, opening all the channels as you move your lymph. So important to get your arms up over your head and move the lymph system in these days where we're so 
sedentary behind our desks all the time. And while you're bouncing, you're just having fun. I like to think about when I was a camper as a kid outside on a beautiful summer day and just playing and enjoying, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, just smiling as you awaken your chi. Bring your hands down to your sides now, swaying gently left and right. Let's go into the tapping and cupping phase of our practice. So with the middle three fingers or your knuckle, you're gonna tap the center of the cheeks under the center of the eyes nine times. Then on the inside edge of the eyebrows, and cupping with your hand, the top of the crown, leaning forward, cup or pat nine times. Reach for the base of your skull, cup nine times. And now the C7 vertebrae, massage it up and down circular motion with your intention that you're opening this important energy button, this point of constriction between your body and your brain on the energy highway from your tailbone to your brain, open, 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 completely open. Now bring your hands in front. We're going to clap to open up that heart channel nine times. Inside of the left elbow. Inside of the right elbow. Under the left armpit. Under the right armpit. Leaning forward and tapping on your tailbone or around your tailbone. Sometimes on the tailbone can be sensitive. So tapping the muscles around the tailbone, either with the sides of the fist or the backs of the hands. Really work on that vibration. It's the vibration that's activating this vital energy center. Now tapping on the sides of the hips where you have those dimples. Leaning forward, cupping the tops of the knees nine times. Backs of the knees. Sides of your left knee. And the sides of your right knee. Slowly straighten back up and bring your hands into prayer position. Bow your head gently forward as you humbly and sincerely invite your spiritual master, your God, the divine, the universe, the true source, your spiritual teachers, your ancestors, whoever it is who you hold in the highest respect for their unconditional love and healing energy, invite them to come today, help you with your practice and set that specific request. You can ask for one thing, you can ask for multiple things, you can ask for yourself, you can ask for a friend or a client. And once you've made your request, you just let your hands fall naturally to your sides and you let that go, knowing that you've been heard. Now in the beginning of the universe position, with your feet, shoulder width apart, the knees are bent, straightening the spine, tucking in the tailbone, tucking in the chin so your head is flat, Relaxing the shoulders, rounding the arms, assuming that song position, that relaxed tension position. That is the signature of Spring Forest Qigong. Your fingers are spread, putting a smile on your lips now as you switch your breathing to breathing into your nose and out to your nose, resting the tip of your tongue behind your front two teeth, connecting that switch. Tongue is a switch that connects the front energy channel with the back energy channel slowing down your breath, maybe even closing your eyes to come deeper into this moment, deeper into this meditation. As you breathe in, let your arms rise just ever so slightly as you feel that energy connection expanding between your arms and your body. As you breathe out, relax 
let go, surrender. Breathing in, expanding, feeling the tingling sensation in your palms, in your hands, in your forearms, in your back, in your shoulders. Breathing out. Feeling so peaceful, so connected. And now let's use the key that opens the door to more the spring forest password. And we say it together. I am in the universe. And feel how that feels for you. The universe is in my body. Connect the feeling of the universe that is inside you. And now we say the universe and I combine together and you feel your connection to all beings, to all things, to the cosmos. You are one with the source, you are one with the universe, your connection to the Zen Chi makes you feel so peaceful. So good. Breathing in. And breathing out. How powerful is that? Just feel it. Beautiful. Well, let's prepare for the first movement today, which is 10,000 hands. So we start from the beginning of the universe position. Our hands are at our sides, our shoulders are relaxed, spine is straight, and the arms are rounded. As you breathe in, you open your palms, gathering that energy from the earth, raising it up over your head you unite your hands above your head combining the energy of the earth with the energy of the sky you bring your hands down to just above your forehead where you hold your breath just a couple of seconds on the exhalation you're delivering this energy into your body into your heart When you arrive at your solar plexus, you invert your hands and they continue the downward journey to you start the movement again. So now if you can follow my breathing pattern, if you can't, totally good to take two or three breaths. Ready, breathing in, gathering the energy and raising it up. Uniting your hands, holding your breath as you bring the energy down just above your forehead. Exhaling, delivering the energy into your body. Inverting your hands as you follow through on the exhale. And now with the power of your visualization, imagining you have 10,000 hands, they're your hands, 10,000 of your hands sweeping up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10,000. As you rise it up over your head, hold your breath. So as you breathe in, you know that you are supported. You are loved. And these 10,000 hands moving together in unison with yours are so powerful. Gathering the energy, you know that you are blessed and you are blessing.
rising up with the energy again. You know that you are loved and you are loving. Uniting the yin and yang energy, gathering the energy from the earth. Uniting it with the energy of the heavens. Uniting it with your energy. You are in the universe. The universe is in your body. You and the universe are one. Let's do one last movement. 10,000 hands, following your hands, supporting you, sustaining you. Isn't that great? <laughs> Okay, today being Friday, we're going to do the fifth of the five healing element movements. We're going to do connecting to your heart, also known as the gratitude movement. From your base position, from your beginning of the universe position, you bring your hands into prayer position. Relax those shoulders, smile on your lips, tongue resting on your palate behind your front teeth. On the inhalation, you bow gently forward. And on the exhalation, you straighten back up. With this movement, we are connecting to the very powerful high vibration, the energetic vibration of gratitude. And I invite you to allow your thoughts of gratitude to start from your heart as they well up to your voice or your mind as you give thanks for this beautiful day. The energy of gratitude, that vibration will automatically balance out any fear that you're holding on to in your kidney system. That's where we hold on to energetically in our body. And you can visualize a deep, dark blue light, like my shirt, surrounding your kidneys, healing your kidneys. As you connect to gratitude, as you connect to thankfulness, as you just say to yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's like a mantra running in the back of your mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now with every bow you express your thanks can be anything at all, anything that comes to mind. Serious things, funny things, ridiculous things, whatever. The important thing is to connect to that vibration. You feel your body tingling with gratitude. You visualize the energy of gratitude penetrating every pore of your skin, filling you up, filling every cell, every bone, every tissue, every organ with gratitude, feeling your soul with gratitude and feeling how wonderful, how amazing, how good that feels. I am so thankful for this beautiful planet, for its nurturing energy, For the oceans, for the rivers, for the streams, for the lakes, for the ponds, for the water energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I'm so thankful for the land, for the mountains, for the beaches, for the valleys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so thankful for the sky, for the clouds, for the sun, for the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm thankful for the love and support of my family. I am thankful for the love and support of my friends in this beautiful spring forest community around the world. I am thankful for the opportunity to be alive in this moment, for all the experiences that come into my life, for the so-called good experiences, for the so-called bad experience, because I know that all these experiences are here for me to learn, to grow, to raise my level of consciousness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now think of the things that you are grateful for. Just simply connect to that mantra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you visualize that blue light surrounding your kidneys, healing your kidneys, breathing into your lower dantian as always, and breathing out, seeing any blockages transforming, turning into light, turning into smoke, turning into mist, shooting out from your body, shooting back in every direction, back to nature, back to the universe. All of your energy channels are open, open, so completely open. Any energy blockages are gone. You are healing right now, my friend. You are a powerful healer and you are healing faster and more completely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On your next exhalation, bring your hands down to your sides. Just take a relaxing deep breath. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Time for the harvesting of chi. Rub those hands together. Get them nice and hot. Rubbing the insides of the fingers, activating those six meridians in each hand as you place your palms over your eyes and you send love and light, like beams of light from the center of your palms to your eyes and say, thank you. Thank you, thank you to your eyes. Bring your hands down now, the fingers at the tip of your chin, pushing up the bridge of the nose, across the forehead, closing your eyes, visualizing a beautiful heart as you say to yourself or say out loud, I love my face. I love my skin. And I love my nose. I love my cheeks. I love my chin. I love my throat. I love my teeth. I love my gums. So good. Tips your fingers, brushing back through your scalp nine times. Tell yourself, I love my brain. I have a power brain. I am a genius and I act upon my wisdom. Warm your hands into a cup, patting from the front to the back. Holding the front of the forehead with one hand and then cupping the base of the head with the other nine times.
Eyes and the ears, the top, the bottom, squeezing the earlobe, giving a tug, adding the insides of the ears and the outside. Bring your hands down, take a relaxing breath. Extending the left arm, cupping from the shoulder to the wrist on the inside. Outside. Right arm. Adding the chest to the belly. Under the left armpit down the side of the ribs. And the right armpit. Leaning forward with loose fist tapping on the kidneys, awakening the vital energy organs, the kidneys clean, filter your blood 24 seven. Give them some props. Yes, massaging. Flipping your hands if you can, sending love and light and gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you to your kidneys. Bring the hands down now with sides of loose fists or back of the palms. Tapping from the lower back sacrum area to the tailbone. Tapping on the sides of the hips. Bending down, cupping the tops of the knees nine times. Back to the knees. Sides of the left knee. Sides of the right knee. Slowly straightening back up. Interlocking the fingers, resting them on your belly, massaging the counterclockwise direction as you say to yourself, or say out loud, I love my liver. I love my pancreas. I love my stomach. I love my spleen. I love my gallbladder. I love my intestines. I love all my reproductive organs. Quick dolphining of the neck, keeping the lower back straight, relaxing the shoulders, extending the chin, tucking to the chest, raising the imaginary golf ball at the top, leaning back if you can. Breathing in, tucking, breathing out, as you extend and lean. Aware that you're opening all the channels in your neck, in your head, your shoulders, upper chest, upper back. This is one of Master Lin's recommended daily movements, dolphining of the neck. Now supporting your lower back, maybe bring your feet to hip width apart for stability. Bend at the waist, extend that chin, tuck it to your chest, push the knees forward, the hips, the chest, roll it up, flex that spine. Longevity of the spine is the key to a long life. Flexibility of the spine is the key to a long life. Yes. All right. Coming back to the beginning of the universe position, bring the feet to hip width apart. We're gonna raise the heels up, let them drop freely down nine times. Bring your hands into prayer position, bowing gently forward, thanking your God, the universe, the divine, your spiritual master, thanking them for bringing their unconditional love and healing energy bowing to the spring forest community bowing to master Lin, the other masters the other teachers all the practitioners thank you thank you thank you for being part of such a wonderful group of human beings being part of this chief field looking forward to see you again soon either in a practice group or at my chief level one activation class or on heart wisdom soon thank you for being with me this week
have a wonderful weekend. Come back and see us next week on Spring Forest every day. Ciao.